what is going on guys? So we are now a little bit south. I drove down to the kind of Cutler Bay homestead area down in Miami. There is this canal behind me. I'm trying to get a new species for my life list today. So I have it on good word that there should be uh, Midas cichlids and Red Devil cichlids in this canal here behind me, along with the hybrid of the two. They're both extremely similar, tough to tell them apart. I think I kind of have an idea of what to look for, but I'm not positive. And then the hybrids, those are just going to be really tough. So we're going to be going with some uh, live red worms. Still got some left over from my last couple trips. Small size 8 hook. We're just going to kind of walk this canal, drop it down. I only got about an hour and a half, two hours to fish here. So hopefully we can get into some new species today. Midas and red devils are the target. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to tell them apart right now, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Worst case scenario, I'll ID them when I get home. So hope you guys like it and let's stay tuned and let's see if we can get into some new species. All right, we got our worm tied on the hook. Water's moving a little fast. We're gonna try to drop this right along the, the, uh, the wall here. Let's see if there's some fish down there. Water's pretty deep. Oh, there's one right there. I don't know if it comes through the water, but you can see it looks look just like a giant goldfish, even though it's a uh, cichlid. Let me move my worm towards him a little bit. Right there. Now let it drop. Does he see it? Nope. The water's really deep right here. Let me move down a little bit. Yes, yeah, so the water here is really deep and really clear. I can see the bottom. It's honestly maybe even close to 10 feet. Yeah, so I've seen several of these little orangey red cichlids. There's actually one over there. They're just not going after the red worm. So I don't know if these guys just don't like them. I would have thought for sure they would have been after a red worm. But I didn't come prepared with anything else. I've got no bread with me, which I think might have also worked. So today might be a little bit of a disappointment. All right, he went after this one. Hold on now. He went after this one. Let me cast back out in front of him. Is he interested? He's interested. He backed away. Fish on. Okay. First Midas or Red Devil or whatever this thing is for the day. This guy could pull pretty well. Let's get him on up here. This water is deep. Come on up here. All right. Check it. Check out this guy. All right. So take a look at this guy. I believe this is going to be a Midas cichlid. I'm not sure. I know the uh, Red Devils have a little bit bigger lips, but again, I'll get a positive ID on this later. I'm happy to get one because these guys don't seem to like worms too much. But beautiful fish, just amazing color. Look how gold and red it is. But we'll get this one back. Maybe we'll be able to get a couple more. I sure hope so because there's, there's a couple of them down there. So I'm happy with one. Now let's see if we can get a couple more before I got to head back up north. Fish on. 
took a couple casts, but I got them hooked. Nice fish, a little bit on the smaller side, but beautiful colors. Let's get this guy on up here. Beautiful fish. All right, this one is a bit on the smaller side. Took a couple casts to get that worm in front of him and actually get him to hit, but beautiful fish. <laughs> kind of reminds me a lot of goldfish, even though these are nowhere near related to goldfish. Nice, I don't know, Midas or my or devil sick red devil cichlid, my devil cichlid hybrid. I have no idea, but I just like them. They look really cool. I always like catching new species. All right, so getting two of those was cool. I went with uh, some bigger pieces of worms, really just the whole red worm, and I switched over to a little bit of a heavier sinker. I was using just a split shot earlier with a small piece of worm. And honestly, they just weren't interested. I, I don't know why. So now the sinker makes more of a louder thump sound. That really attracts their attention. And then their face goes to this. So they hear the sinker and see the sinker first. And then they see the worm. And that's what's been uh, working for those last two fish here. So let's work our way down a little bit further. Let's try to get into a couple more here. I got a little bit more time. Oh, fish on. This is a mullet. I did not think I was gonna get a mullet. I saw these guys in here all day. Oh man, this could be a new one for the lifeless too. Nice and easy, nice and easy. This guy's pulling okay too. This guy's pulling better than those cichlids. Can I pull him up? Oh yeah. Would you believe that? Look at that, a mullet. All right, we got a mullet, and would you look at that? It is hooked in the mouth. So these guys are filter feeders, so they are not supposed to be going after worms. But this guy did, so I am happy he did. This is gonna be a new species for me. Not sure exactly what type of mullet it is, but I'm happy with this one too. All right, so that's gonna do it. Uh, been here about two hours, it is hot. I've only been able to fish this little stretch that's maybe, I'd say 60 to 80 yards. There's uh, apartment complexes and all this other stuff all around that's private and I can't get into. But in this little stretch, there's tons of fish. Unfortunately, they didn't really wanna go after the red worms, which was a little weird. Uh, most of them just kind of looked at it, they were intrigued, but then they backed away. So I don't know if they're highly pressured or what's going on. But I did get two of those cichlids that I drove all the way down here for, so that's good. Not sure if they were Midas, Red Devil, or a hybrid of the two. I'll try to find that out later on. And that mullet, that was really exciting. So mullet, they're filter feeders. They eat microscopic uh, organisms by sucking the water in the mouth and filtering those out. So they usually aren't, well they're not supposed to go after any kind of like bigger uh, lures or bait. So I'm really surprised that one hit the red worm, but I'm not complaining. It was hooked in the mouth, so I'm gonna add that one to my life list. Not sure what kind of mullet it is, but that one counts. So not a bad day, not a great day, but I'm happy to add a couple new ones to the life list. So hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.